Okay, so now we are going to look at the employee setup and right now we have no employees created. Now you can create employees outside of the payroll setup by clicking on employees and then going in and entering an employee just as you would a vendor or a customer. But we're going to go ahead and use the payroll setup this time. So here's where you would enter all the information about the employee, the name, address, etc. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, then you're going to click the next button. You choose what type of employee they are. They could be a regular employee. They could be an officer, owner, etc. We need to put in their social security number, their hire date. If they were released, we would put in their release date. They need the birth date and you need to put their gender. So we're going to go ahead and put in their social security number and all this information. Okay, and then we're going to click the next button. Now this is where you choose how do you pay this employee. Uh, you can choose weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly. Um, we're going to have a weekly payroll schedule. And how is this person paid hourly? Uh, so we are going to put in their hourly wage here, 1075 an hour. Now, if this person gets overtime, we need to put in the amount that their overtime would be. And as you know, that's going to be time and a half, or hourly wage times 1.5 which comes out to be $16.13 at a uh, time and a half and then double time would, if they had double time we would double this figure here but we're not going to have that so we're going to click next and then if the employee uh, participates in the retirement that we have we're going to put the check marks there and also the health insurance which is company paid and also um, taken out of the employee's paychecks so you can put a percentage amount here or a dollar figure. So we are just going to put 3% here. So that's saying, okay, the each payday, the employee and the employer are both going to pay 3% of the, of the gross income of this employee to the retirement company. And same thing with the health insurance. That's going to be a, a money amount or a percentage. We're going to go ahead and put uh, a dollar figure here next. Now we um, are going to put any information about this employee's sick time. How do they get sick time? Well, we're going to say that we give them sick time eight hours per month that they work for us. That's how they earn their sick time. Um, any rules about sick time? Do they have to use them all up or can they, can they just accrue? And um, we're going to say that they increase without any limit and are never lost. And time off currently, um, if the employee has already had time off, we would need to record that information here. Um, no time off until, so that like if an employee works for you and they have a 90 day period uh, to where they don't earn any sick time until that time, then we would choose the no time off until. So we'll probably do that. This is a new employee that we are going to choose the month of we'll say June before they can start earning any sick time and if there were any previous balances um, available or used we would put that here but this is a new employee so obviously they do not have any sick time yet so I'm going to click on next and this is for vacation time works the same way um, so let's say that they earn eight hours per month and this one is going to uh, be lost it, it must be used by the end of the year or it's lost. Let's say it, it starts accrual on January 1st. Time off currently or no time off until. Again, we're going to have a limit there for the employee. This is neat. Uh, you can set it up to pay by check or you can set it up as direct deposit. So you would need your employee's account number and routing number and bank name and then you can just direct deposit into their bank. So we're going to go ahead and go with check and, and click next. And then this is important because this has to do with taxes. What taxes um, is this employee affected by or is the company affected by because of this employee? Well, Texas. We live in Texas, so um, we would put Texas there. So we're going to click next. And this is important information for the federal income tax withholding. Are you single, married, etc.? So we're going to say this person is single. How many allowances do they have? We're going to say two. Uh, any extra withholdings? 
non-resident alien does not apply. Okay, most everybody is subject to the Medicare tax, the Social Security tax, and federal unemployment, the employer is responsible for that. So in some, some cases, you may also have the advanced earned income credit. We're going to click next on that. And it says Texas um, is the employee subject to any special local taxes not shown above. Well, if you live in a city that has an income tax, um, then you might choose yes here. But in this case, we're going to leave it at no. So we're going to click finish. Okay, so now we have successfully set up an employee and all of the information required for that employee. Next, we will go into more detail about the taxes.